Pilo for for boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner, Trey X, and the whole block fam. All right, so um, I've been seeing a lot um, going around um, in the Facebook groups, um, boxing groups, and on YouTube, where um, for some reason there's this uh, narrative being pushed that Joseph Parker somehow has the best chin in the heavyweight division. Not really sure why um, they're the people who are pushing this feel the need to um, keep pushing this narrative, um, but... I, I can't agree with it, and so I so I decided to speak out on it. I've been seeing this circulate for about two or three weeks now, and um even in in even in conversations on boxing forums that don't have anything to do with Joseph Parker. Sometimes Dillian White may be topic of discussion, but someone will sneak in. Uh, you know, well, Joseph Parker has the best chin in the heavyweight division, and and I, and the only thing that I can think of that may be the reason that they're doing this is because a joseph parker was the first guy to go the distance with aj which really in and of itself is a fallacy because in actuality tycom was about to go 12 with uh aj and the refs the ref felt the need to stop the fight for no reason um basically to in my opinion preserve aj's knockout streak um and I also think that maybe it has a little bit to do with the fact that Joseph Parker went to distance with Dillian White as well. Um, because a lot of this narrative, is that the, the people that I've seen pushing this are, are mainly UK fans. Um, you know, and the reality is these are probably the same people who were pushing Joseph Parker as a world beater when he had a title or after, right after he lost the title. As if uh, Joseph Parker is just head and shoulders over the you know the B level guys when I mean, he's right there in the mix with those guys and it, and may even be minus to C level. Um, Joseph Parker is a guy who got his title in his home country versus Andy Ruiz in a fight that many people who saw the fight felt Andy Ruiz won. Joseph Parker is a guy who went the distance with uh I think his name is Rojan Kajanu who Luis Ortiz knocked out in like two rounds in his very next fight. Um, Joseph Parker is the same guy who allowed the referee to to basically halt action anytime he got close to Anthony Joshua. Parker was a guy who basically looked and acted as if he was just glad to be on that stage. He's the same guy who went to Wilder's fight in hopes of making a unification bout. And then after the saw the, seeing the result of the fight, basically reneged and decided he didn't want to fight Wilder anymore. Joseph Park is the same guy who got dropped a couple times versus Dillian White and dropped Dillian White badly at the, toward the end of the fight, but uh, White was able to make it out. But Joseph Park is no world beater. I, I know he's former, I think it was WBO champion, but um, Joseph Parker, you know, had a got a gift decision. I, in my opinion, in his fight with um, Huey Fury, um, gift decision over Andy Ruiz. Um, just guy, just really, he, he he. There's not enough separation between him and guys of that level. And I don't even mean Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz has shown what he can do with the opportunity versus um, AJ. And he'll get an opportunity to show again on Saturday night. But um, all this Joseph Parker praise and talking about his chin, if Joseph Parker's chin was, was such, such world class and so forth and so on, he wouldn't have went in there and fought Anthony Joshua as tentatively as he did. He would have trusted his chin and he would have went in there to get the job done, much like Andy Ruiz did, um, and, and been willing to go out on his shield. Joseph Parker doesn't have the temperament that you want to see in a fighter, um, first and foremost. He, he's too willing to allow things to just play out as they're going, and he doesn't have it in him or hasn't shown to have it in him to, to change the tide of a fight off of what he wants to make happen. Um, Joseph Parker also is, is, is the guy who... You know, had opportunity to fight um, 
you know, Chisora, and you know whether or not he was truly bitten by a spider. I never saw any pictures. I mean, I know spider bites aren't anything to play with, but I never saw a picture come out of you know what I'm saying in anything. You know, it's kind of like these guys who have these injuries, and then you know there's never anything released on it other than oh they were injured, they got to pull out of the fight. So to me. I got. I still got to see Joseph Parker up with Derek Chisora because there's no reason that fight can't still be made. Chisora has continued to win, and um, you know we haven't seen Parker in the ring yet since. And I don't want to see Parker against some guy ranked 93rd in the country in the, in the world, um, in his next fight. Um, you know, <laughs> Joseph Parker being dropped like he was against Dylan White, to me, um, I can't I can't give him the best chin in the division when they're, they're heavyweights walking around who's never been dropped and have had good leather laid on them, such as uh, Adam Adam Kalnaki. And I, I'm not going to say – I said never been dropped. He's never been dropped to my knowledge. I know Deontay Wilder is, is has, was dropped early in his career, but I've seen Wilder hit with some good shots in recent years and stay on his feet. I got to get – you know what I'm saying? I got to give credit where credit is due. Um – you know, to me, and, and that's just two guys. I mean, there are a lot of guys. I mean, I'm not going to say that just because you get dropped, you don't have a good chin. But I'm I'm just not seeing this world-class chin in Joseph Parker. I'm not seeing a world-class fighter in Joseph Parker. But, you know, he's young and he has a chance to turn that around. But Joseph Parker has a lot a lot of work to do to, um, you know what I'm saying, to change the opinion of, you know what I'm saying, the, the perception of who he is as a fighter. Because with Joseph Parker, perception is reality. And right now the reality is that he's a guy who, who doesn't have a fighter's temperament in my opinion. But that's all I'm going to say on it. It's d Lo for for Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner as well. Peace. And go subscribe to Marlowe's Corner, Marlowe's Corner too. I'm out.